Dating the way the kuffar do it, the way people who don't have good Islam in their life do it, is haram. But there is halal types of dating. Just say you find somebody who is the right person. Your job is not to make in your mind a love story. Most people, their heart breaks because they create a love story, especially sisters. They make a Bollywood movie. You have to follow the deen. Three simple steps. First step, when you make this like about the person, it has to be for more than one thing. You as a human being, you are made up of three parts. Physical, intellectual, and spirit. Ruh, aql, mind, badan, body. If I look at a girl, at a woman, only for the body, and there is no aql and no nafs, I'm not going to have a happy marriage. If I say, oh, I only want the deen, and I look at her and <laughs> it's not gonna work. If she is beautiful, does namaz. But when we talk, our minds have no connection. It's gonna be hell. So you have to have balance, ruh, aql, badan. You cannot have one and miss the others. If you are looking only yourself, when you're looking, you don't look at all three. So. Who's going to give you the real truth? It's not going to be yourself and it's not going to be your best friend or her best friend. It's going to be other people who you ask and trust. Your father, your mother, your friend, her friends. The more shura, the better. How do you know if you should even ask? Well, you need to talk to her. You need to meet her. If the physical is okay matching, then the aql. You have to have conversation. Did you sit close enough that you can look in her eye? Did you talk to her? Talk to her first. How do you do this? You do it in a place where you are not alone and you do it in a place that is with the permission of the family. If you are ready for marriage and you see somebody ready for marriage, then you should not wait but invite somebody between the two of you who can connect you. There's no know each other more. Sadly, 69% of marriages that are love marriages end in divorce. That's statistics in the Western world. Seven out of every 10 who get married get divorced in the first three years who meet each other like this. 28% of marriages that are introduction, somebody who knows me, somebody who knows her, say, Yahya, she is a good one. I think you should. You, I talk to her mother, you talk to her. When it's introduction to introduction, it's only 28% of us. But we are taking in our religion the habits of people who are failing in their life. See, marriage can be haram, can be makruh, can be mubah, can be mustahab and can be wajib. It can be a must, it can be recommended, it can be okay, permissible, it can be disliked, and it can be haram. Haram if I marry somebody without being truthful about something that is going to hurt them. Haram to marry somebody when I don't have the fulfillment of the things marriage requires. House, to give her accommodation, to feed her. It's haram. You can't marry someone and then say, oh, listen, I'm homeless. You are now with me. Haram, because this is dhulm, this is oppression. Or, okay, I live with my parents. I have my room. Is this okay for you and your family? Sometimes you begin your life, you are still in a room, but you will end your life in a castle. Too many people like this. You begin your life small, but you begin working together, pleasing Allah, putting hand in hand, not doing it for other people, but for yourself. There are many good women, many good brothers who will marry somebody who is willing to work hard and start. That's what I mean marry somebody like you. It is makruh to marry somebody for the wrong reason. Sometimes somebody get married just because I want to be out of my house. Some woman, maybe at home they are not happy. Father is too hard, mother is too hard. So she get married to somebody, she don't want to be his wife. But I just want to leave. Nah, that's makruh, not good to do. Mubah is you want to get married and Allah has said, choose who you want. Mubah can be second wife. It's mubah. It's not recommended. It's not makruh. It's mubah. It can be mustahab. Somebody, he have money. He have his job. Alhamdulillah. And now he is the right age. It's recommended to get married. You shouldn't wait. Oh, I want to do hajj first. Okay, maybe. Oh, I want to help my family for... Okay, but it's better for you to get married. Number five, wajib. Somebody who is ready to be married, but doesn't get married, but is doing haram things. It's wajib for you to get married to help you stop the haram. My uncle, he said, Yahya, when you get married, it's like buying watermelon. On the outside, it looks green. You might hit it, you think it sounds right, but you don't know until you open it. 
that's when you will see. You don't know until you are actually get married. So it's not about, do I have to be sure before? It's, do I have the right signs that this is a good match? And a good match does not mean a perfect match. Nobody is perfect for anybody. I'm not perfect. How can I expect them to be perfect, right? What are signs that somebody will be a good match? That their future plans and your future plans align together. That their past experience and your past experience is the same. Because what makes us together is Tawheed. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. So you then find in that is barakah and khayr.